In this episode, we're going to make a chocolate chip cookie and we're going to use almond and flax flour to make the cookies. So when we start a cookie batter, we like to start and put the, the oils, in this case it's going to be butter, and the eggs together first to get them to, get them to cream together. So we'll start slowly. And once it starts incorporating, we can raise the speed of the mixer to try to cream things together. And since we're starting with the liquid part, we're going to put our flavoring in. In this particular case, it's going to be vanilla extract. You can use chocolate extract, you can use lemon extract, you can use almond extract. But put your liquids together first. Next, we're going to add our almond flour a little bit at a time. And we're also going to add gelatin, and this gelatin makes the cookie a little chewier. I'm going to add the baking powder, and this gives the rise to the cookie so that they're not flat. And now that the batter is getting a little thicker, I'm going to add the flax flour because it makes the batter a little bit too stiff for the mixer. And I'm also going to add the chocolate chips so that they'll mix in along with the flax flour. And that's all there is to making, mixing the dough together for the cookies. So we're going to take this dough and we're going to place it on parchment paper on our baking sheet. And we'll bake it in the oven for about 15 minutes, 13 to, to 15, at 350 degrees. And again, because this dough is fairly stiff because of almond flour and the flax, we want to press the cookies down so that they flatten out while they're baking. Now these will go 350 degrees in the oven for approximately 15 minutes. Our cookies are finished, and they did about 12 to 14 minutes in the oven, depending on how heavy uh, the batter is and how hot your oven is. I want you to remember that we put chocolate chips in these cookies, but the basic batter you can put anything in. You can put any flavoring you want. So play with this a little bit. Make, make the basic batter and then add to it what you like to do. And when we take them off, we're going to let them cool for a while. And remember, these are kind of a chewy cookie. They're not a very crisp cookie. At some other time, we'll do a crisp co cookie for you. And I like baking on parchment paper because things just don't stick to it. That's, I hope you try these and I hope that you enjoy.